my Monday mornings. Tuesdays you can keep. Wednesdays only halfway there. By Thursday I'm asleep. So I'm taking back my weekend, cause it belongs to me. From Friday night through Sunday I control my destiny. The weekend is here again. Time to unwind. More than just a few days off. It's a state of mind. Weekends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekends, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekends. I told you about my friend Vince off the top of the show, sort of a combination of Martha Stewart on drugs and Bob Deal with a sense of humor. Well, he's here. He's also known throughout Canada as the authority on cottaging. Please welcome my good friend, Mr. Vince Grittani, and his amazing dog, Pistol. Hey, Pistol! We came up to Vince's cottage for a little tour, and we took the, or you're going to give in this piece, the National Cottage Test. Are you ready, folks? Here it is. Oh, we've got visitors. Hi. Welcome to Chateau for now. Here, Pistol. Here on on beautiful Lake Muskoka in the center of cottagedom. Today, we are going to present to you the National Cottagers Test. So you're thinking of buying a cottage. Do you have what it takes? Well, go get your pad and pencil and stay tuned. Question number one. Does the sight of this really bother you? If you can stomach it, then score one point because you have what it takes to be a cottager. Okay, let's test your comfort level. Like any true cottage, Chateau for now is in a constant state of renovation. For instance, the stove used to be over here, and this used to be the dining room. Now, now if you remain calm through this whole thing, score one point. Ah, oh, the deck has to be fixed. That tree has to come down. Septic has to be repaired. And the roof, the leak. Hmm. But no problem, because all cottagers have. Municipalities think that all cottagers can. You don't have to have a perfect score to be a, a real cottager. But in spite of the taxman, the rainy day weekends, the guests from hell, the neighbors that are too wild for words, that in spite of everything, you still know how to appreciate this. And only then are you a true cottager. That was great. That was excellent. Oh, we got visitors. Hi. Welcome to Chateau for now. Here for still. Here on, on beautiful Lake Muskoka in the center of cottagedom. Today, we are going to present to you the National Cottagers Test. So you're thinking of buying a cottage. Do you have what it takes? Well, go get your pad and pencil, and stay tuned. Come on, Pistol, down to the dock. This is the dock, the center of activity here at the cottage. And like most things, it's in need of a lot of repair. Question number one. Does the sight of this really bother you? If you can stomach it, then score one point because you have what it takes to be a cottager. Okay, let's test your comfort level. Like any true cottage, Chateau for now is in a constant state of renovation. For instance, the stove used to be over here, and this used to be the dining room. Now, now if you remain calm through this whole thing, score one point. Ah, oh, the deck has to be fixed. That tree has to come down. Septic has to be repaired. And the roof, the leak. Hmm, but no problem, because all cottagers have. Okay, let's test your sense of pride. Can you sit here and admire nature without feeling ashamed? Score one point for yes. This was the bunkie. And as you can see, I'm putting on a new deck and inside a new kitchen because this year I'm going to rent it out. I have to rent it out because my taxes here have gone up about a thousand percent in the last 10 years. Because no matter where you are in Canada, municipalities think that all cottagers can... Pistol, come on, come on. This was the tool shed. 
And like most cottagers, I'm never going to be defeated. Score one point if you can guess what I'm using it for now. This mouse-ridden shack is now the new guest house. Okay, everybody, get up. What do you think this is, a hotel? The truth is, you don't have to have a perfect score to be a, a real cottager. That in spite of the tax man, the rainy day weekends, the guests from hell, the neighbors that are too wild for words, that in spite of everything, you still know how to appreciate this. And only then are you a true cottager.